So this week we have been showing you how fresh seafood makes its way out of San Francisco and ends up right here in the biggest little city. It's been really cool to yeah. see the process, you know, but as we've shown you, there's a lot of work that goes into making all of it happen. Ryan Kennedy joins us now here in the studio with a story you'll see only on two. Ryan, now for the final step. What happens once the fish makes it here to town? Well, this is probably what everyone's been looking forward to, Kristen. At a place like Sierra Meat and Seafood, once the fish is processed in their warehouse, the products go right back out the door and are shipped over to many all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants. And it's here where the final touches are made before the fish ends up on our plates. Even in the autumn months when seafood season is at its slowest, sushi is still a hot commodity in Reno. In boxes labeled as fragile, chefs at Oceano inside the pepper mill begin removing 50 pounds of tuna, 16 pieces of whole salmon, and a variety of other fish as they prepare for the daily lunch rush. You need to, like, fast, because people, they keep ordering. Sometimes people, they order, like, three rolls at the same time. Wow, it's beautiful. The head chef begins by slicing large loins into smaller 45-ounce cutlets. This creates not only a visually appealing display at the bar, but also a more user-friendly work environment. The reason why we cut it like, like pre-portioning, because it make it easy, because how we got busy the restaurant. And just like that, the room fills with eager customers. Can we do two orders then? Two orders. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We go to sushi a couple times a month. We go to sushi about once a week somewhere in town. Chefs quickly get to work, artfully building orders for their hungry buyers. Tuna from Fiji. Some people request nigiri, a simple item that only requires a small amount of rice and a piece of fish, while others go the more traditional route here in Reno, ordering long rolls that combine a variety of flavors into one small bite. So here it is, all of our fresh sushi from pier to plate in just a matter of two days. So we have tuna from Fiji, salmon from Canada, and hamachi from Japan. All of it flown into San Francisco and picked up there in the bay by Sierra Meat and Seafood. Now here it is, being eaten right here in Reno. It's nice to know that the sushi that we're eating is getting here pretty quick from the ocean. I've been to Japan several times for work, and I've had you know, fresh fish from the fish market uh, there. And, you know, this is, you know, on par with, you know, the quality that I've had over there. But even as these locals find satisfaction in knowing how fresh their fish can be, the true appreciation is for Reno, the high desert city in northern Nevada, where chowing down on some all-you-can-eat sushi can always be an option. It's fun to come here, and when people come to town, you know, from out of town, we always take them to sushi because it's Reno sushi, it's different. Thank you. And if you missed Monday or Tuesday night stories from our Pure to Plate reports, those have both been posted to our website, ktvn.com. Now, maybe you've never tried all-you-can-eat sushi and these stories have given you a craving. Well, luckily for you, there are a number of sushi restaurants scattered throughout town. Covering the story live in the studio, Brian Kennedy, Channel 2 News. I will never eat a spicy tuna roll ever again yeah. the same way. Yeah. Now knowing where, you know, the fish comes from. Whole new appreciation. That's Absolutely. a lot of work. I have a brand new appreciation for the long rolls. So that's a good work, Ryan. Good work this week.